It's not surprising to find a soccer player living with HIV. Most soccer players have multiple partners because of their fame. They despise to use protection which put their life in danger of being infected. Anyway, HIV is not death sentence. You can live a normal life like everyone else if you take your medication. Today we look at soccer player who are living with HIV and they disclose their status to the public. Some of them they died because of HIV and AIDS. Please subscribe to our channel for more information. Tabang Sifata Tabang Sifata is a South African former soccer player. He was midfielder for Ross United. In 2013, he was diagnosed with HIV. It took him some time until he disclosed his status in 2016. Tabang was also interviewed by Soka Laduma, where he also encouraged other soccer players to get tested and know their status. Bravely so, he went to events that bring awareness about HIV and AIDS and public disclosed his status. He revealed that soccer players do not want to disclose their status because of their position. Even their leaders deny them to disclose their status to people because they will lose their respect. We all know that there is a stigma of people living with HIV, hence most people would like to keep their status private. Tabang was courageous enough to disclose this status and we believe a lot of soccer players were encouraged by his story. Sizwe Mutawung Sizwe Mutawung was born January 7, 1970 and died August 16, 2001. He was a South African footballer who played for Jomo Cosmos, Mamelod Sundown, St. Gallen, C.D. Tineraif, Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates, as well as for the national team. He was a member of squad that won the African Cup of Nations in 1996. Sizwe died of HIV and AIDS. According to the sources, Sizwe was bedridden and could not walk even eat. His body was skeleton. Most of his close family were nowhere to be found. Only few leaders from soccer clubs were going to see him, even checking up on him sometime. This was in speculations because his ex-wife divorced him after she discovered that she was infected by the virus transmitted by his husband, Sizwe Mutawun. Sadly, the virus infected her until she died. Sizwe's story was also featured by Sanlam to educate other soccer players about HIV and AIDS. Tabang Libisi Tabang Libisi was a South African soccer player who played for Orlando Pirates, Kaiser Chiefs and Bafana Bafana. Tabang passed away after succumbed to illness related to HIV and AIDS. He never revealed his status to anyone until the time of his death. The 38 years old was taken to Helen Joseph Hospital in Johannesburg, suffering from stiff neck and severe headache. Unfortunately, he didn't recover and died in hospital. The spokesperson for Tabang said that before he died, he said to his mom he wanted to tell her something. Unfortunately, he died before he said it. It was reported that Tabang already told his friends about his status. This is how they knew he died of AIDS. In one of the interviews with the Sunday newspaper, he said that, I have some advice for the current PSL players. They shouldn't be like me. I did not make good decisions and I wasted my money on cars and women. Now I have nothing, he said at that time. Jacob Liketo Jacob Bobo Liketo is a South African soccer player who played left back in 1990s and 2000s. He was born 24 March 1974 and he passed away September 9, 2008. He played for Morocco Swallows, Locomotive Moscow and South African national team. Various South African sources revealed in September 2008 that Liketo died in Johannesburg age 34 following a long fight with unspecified disease. According to Sports Express, the sickness was AIDS. Emmanuel Ngobese 
Emmanuel Oscar Ngobese was a South African soccer player who played for Kaiser Chiefs, Noroka Swallows, and Amazulu. He passed away in 2010, 10 May. The late soccer player was admitted to hospital after collapsing at home. Emmanuel was suffering from tuberculosis for two years. It was never revealed that he died of AIDS, but because tuberculosis is related to AIDS, a lot of people assumed that his tuberculosis was as a result of HIV and AIDS. In actual fact, there are people who suffer from tuberculosis but are HIV negative. If you find this information useful, subscribe to our channel for more information. Thank you for watching.